Troy. So good to see you, man. You too, champ. Your big victory over Seth at WrestleMania has Miz in the most cheerful mood. Believe me, the whole team is delighted with you. Sarcasm for sarcasm. I dig it. What do you and our must-see general manager have for me now? A live interview on The Bump that you're already running late for. And believe me, you don't want to miss this. Oh, I won't. I've never been more eager to tell the WWE Universe all about the Miz's stellar leadership. Great! There's a car waiting outside. It's not a limo or an SUV. It's actually a compact rental car that you'll be driving yourself. And you owe us $74.38. And it will actually be more than that if you don't fill up the gas before you return it. Wow. You guys really know how to treat your champions. Thanks, Troy. Some say the story was finally completed on night two of WrestleMania when Cody Rhodes won the World Heavyweight Championship at last. But it felt like a beginning to me, Kayla. I agree, Byron. But our guest at this time is also in the midst of an incredible story. Please welcome the man who won the main event on night one, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Welcome, champ. Huge night for you at WrestleMania. Thanks, Byron. First, congratulations to Cody. He's been in the hunt for a long time. From one champ to another, here's to you. As Cody begins his championship journey, yours is becoming a marathon. I remember right after you won the WWE Universal title, Roman Reigns joked that you wouldn't last a month. Now it is day 666, and ooh, uh, hope that's not bad luck for your upcoming match. Wait, do you know something I don't? What match? Uh, yes, it wasn't meant to come out that way, but we do have some significant news to share on that front. Way to blow our big reveal, Byron. Anyway, Miz gave us the exclusive on your next championship defense. Well, I'm here. Might as well say it. Before I do, just remember, we're only the messengers. This is straight from The Miz. You will defend the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against five other superstars in an Elimination Chamber match. I think Miz's words were actually, I'll put the toughest opponents from his past inside a cage and see if he's lucky enough to survive. Ha, 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 ha. So... Uh, thoughts? I'm not phased. Sure, this will be one of the greatest tests of my reign in the Elimination Chamber. And Miz can bring out all the heavy hitters he wants. But I'm not going to need luck. Luck isn't going to enter the picture. They used to call me the Dark Horse. But now the WWE Universe knows that I am a workhorse. I'm going to out-hustle every man in the chamber, and I'm going to walk out still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion because Miz sets him up, and I knock him down. So, anything else you want to cover? Uh, I think you made your point. Look at the smile. You look entirely too happy to be a general manager. I finally got the champion I should have had for quite some time. Cody? Good for him. Good for the business. He's an amazing talent carrying quite the legacy. I'm proud of him. I get your relief. The World Heavyweight title gets passed around so much over on Raw that it must have been hard to keep track. Hopefully Cody can hang on to it for a while. Hopefully you can hold on to the WWE Universal Championship through the Elimination Chamber tonight. Miz has assembled quite the rogues gallery. Yeah, consisting mostly of guys I already beat. Overconfidence can blind one to unseen threats. I'm coming up on two years as WWE Universal Champion, Regal. I think I've earned a little confidence at this point. Well, 
how you've changed. It would be interesting. What? If you get through the elimination chamber, perhaps Miz and I should start a conversation about the match everyone expected on your first night as champion. You versus Cody Rhodes. The match everyone expected me to lose? Bring it on. Wonder who the odds would favor this time. A fine question indeed. One that's been hanging over my head for a long time. I'm thinking maybe you're right. It's time we answered it. Maybe. But we'll talk more later. If you can survive tonight. Good luck. chamber, but they all want to be here because the winner will be remembered forever. of WWE. And introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. A lot of pressure on this superstar. Tonight's where he needs to prove that he's championship material. is always ready for a fight. And introducing the challenger from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! What an intimidating sight this chamber must be for all of these competitors. He's been waiting a very long time for this title opportunity. I hope he's ready. Here comes the Scottish warrior. A man whose mean streak grows by the day. 
McIntyre answers to no one and fights only for himself. Yeah, Drew is hell-bent on having his arm raised tonight, and I would not want to be the one to stand in his way. tonight, but my hat is off to every competitor brave enough to even consider entering the Elimination Chamber. Big matches are where this guy thrives, and competing for that title is about as big as it gets. Gentlemen, stand up and cheer this social media icon. And introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, Logan Paul. There are folks in the crowd on social media, heck, even backstage, who resent Logan Paul because he's a celebrity who shot to WWE superstardom. Well, some people believe Paul didn't pay his dues and he's an entitled celebrity. You know what? Those people can put in the work to make themselves a star like Logan Paul did. Until then, shut your mouth and immerse yourself in the Logan Paul experience because he's serving it up. Put your hard hats on. Logan Paul's about to go to work and someone's about to catch some hands. The champion is ready to break free and unleash chaos. champ strutting toward the ring like a conquering hero admiring trophies from his past battles well, i'm pretty sure his opponents remember those battles too and let's just say they're not lining up to exchange pleasantries let's see if history repeats itself or is rewritten Five top challengers are all vying for the WWE Universal Championship. Not just any challengers, mind you. Some of them have revenge on their mind. You said it, Cole. Beating a man once takes skill. Beating a man twice takes guts. Beating them in an elimination chamber takes... Well, I just don't know if the champ has what it takes. Well, I'm eager to see what the champ is made of tonight in this daunting title defense. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Goodness gracious. The champion imposing their will with total disregard. Bionic elbow after bionic elbow. How about one more for good measure? Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. So 
I guess that's what it means to do whatever it takes to stay champion. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Logan Paul looking helpless to every attack. This is Logan Paul's perseverance getting tested. Delivering nasty stops. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Back straight into the post on the outside. Ooh. Oh, God. And strikes rights and left elbows knees all of them lethal just going all out with every blow okay he's re-entering the ring letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now drop kick oh man Seth freaking Rollins joins the fight and looks to release a firestorm of brutality he couldn't make much of that pin attempt Oh, trying to get the WWE Universe on his side here. And a series of vicious stops. The champion sending a message. There's no mercy here. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. You can tell Logan was zeroed in on his opponent. The champion just teed off. Our challenger found no way to break free there. Caught with that sharp elbow. Up across the shoulders. What's next? TKO! Look at this. Just unloading. A precision shot, and now Rollins is bleeding. It's Kevin Owens ready to dive into the elimination chamber. He's got to know he's 
in harm's way here. Oh, back elbow. Blast off. Cover. Two. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. with no count outs to worry about. Kick to the gut. On top. Oh, the guitar. The time's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. There's two. Things are starting to riddle really down with just four superstars remaining in the chamber. Belly to belly suplex. Cover. Two. Got to keep your head on swivel now with just three superstars left in the chamber. Tracks. I think we know what's coming next. 
shutting that down with the. Uh oh, this is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the. Jackhammer. Can it be? Will the rain continue? He knows how to avoid contact. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Neckbreaker. Compromised position here. Tossed around like a rag doll. Watch this display of power. It'll set up powerbomb. Thunderous impact. It all comes down to this. Only two superstars remain in the elimination chamber. On the outside now, one of the most dangerous places to be in the elimination chamber. Dishing out a suplex. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Suplex. Boom! High stakes here. He does not want to be there. You got to be kidding me. Oh my God! A spear through the pod wall. That is unbreakable plexiglass that just got annihilated. This is going to be nasty. There's the power into the jackhammer. But champions need to finish the job. Two count, kick out, still has hope. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? On the outside now. No place is safe in the elimination chamber, but the outside is especially dangerous. Getting back into the ring. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Able to reverse that one. Drew fending him off. Oh, a big boot. Placing them into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. And the hits to the core keep coming. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. Catches the leg. A long way up. Final time, the last ride. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. Looks like the champ is going to retain. The WWE Universal Champion has outlasted the toughest opponents from his past.
But now, what lies ahead? He's pretty much defeated everyone. What lies ahead is the champion who has reigned longer than the Dark Horse, and that's Gunther. It's time we see those two face off. I just survived the toughest opponents from my past in the Elimination Chamber. So now what? Do I take some time off? Maybe hit the golf course? Rest up and recover? Nah, I don't think so. See, there's one other superstar in WWE who's actually been champion longer than I have. And I've been hearing rumblings for a long time that he deserves what I have, that somehow he's more worthy than me. I'm talking about you, Gunther. I'm ready to quiet all the doubters once again. You think you deserve what I have? Then come and try to take it.